uh, it's springtime, so let's update, recap, and flowers that bloom in the spring, tra-la. Wordsworth? I don't know who wrote that. Anyway, so last time I spoke about these Tao shoes, but I hadn't really tested them out in terms of um, doing a lot of walking in them. I just walked around the house in them. They're fabulous. Now, first of all, did you know that the chicest, latest look are Mary Janes? I, I discovered that after I bought them. I've always loved Mary Janes. These are so youthful. Not only that, the arch is, it's got a wonderful arch, and I, I need an arch. Uh, it's got a wonderful, I don't know what it's got, but whatever it is, it really um, holds and supports my feet. And I can wear them all day and it doesn't hurt my legs, it doesn't hurt my knees, it doesn't hurt my feet. These are really comfortable. Now what I am ordering, and I don't have them yet, are some uh, socks to wear. Anyway, they're great shoes. They're very comfortable. So in fact, I bought a pair of um, sandals by the same, by Taos also. So here's to Taos and not hurting my feet. They're great, so I love them. So that's an update. Um, uh, another update. Remember I told you about these, these um, brushes? They're called Olivia Garden, and these are fabulous brushes. In fact, I bought a whole, I bought four of them. I know, I know, but what happened was I couldn't decide. Do I need one inch? Do I need one inch and a quarter? Do I need a half inch? And so they, cu they come in a bag of, I think it's four, four of them, and they're all different sizes. And interesting, I thought that I should just use a big one, but I love also using the small one. So I, as I say, I figured, so I think the, the bag is around $60. I know it's expensive, but I use every one of these. And it's, it's better than buying, you know, a couple of brushes, right? Anyway, I love these Olivia Garden brushes. Um, they and why you know they really grab the hair they really uh, I like the way they work that's so that's Olivia garden brushes really good stuff okay what else is is an upgrade um, I'm not sure but let me talk about some other things um, my sometimes my door I can't open my door not my door our doors in the house and so this is graphite, what do they call it? Graphite lubricant. And you know how everybody told you to use WD-40? That's not good. Bob was talking to the locksmith and it, that's really bad for the locks, but graphite moisturizes them. So I wanna recommend buying graphite for it and wait till you tell everybody else about, yeah, I think you need graphite instead of WD-40. Yeah, right, you're the, you're the smart one. So use graphite because it moisturizes and is better than WD-40. That just stays and gets dirty, graphite. Um, I was really annoyed. My, all of my pencils, they, they keep on breaking. So some of them are plastic. I didn't even realize that. I couldn't figure out what the material was, to be honest. Um, but I, so I keep on buying um, sharpeners and so far, the best one I found is this Estee Lauder sharpener. Where did I get it? I think I got it on Amazon. I think, yeah, I'll, it'll be in the show more. Um, but the Estee Lauder so far has, has worked the best of any of the pencil sharpeners. So I highly recommend uh, Estee Lauder sharpener. You know, one day I was just so frustrated with dull pencils. You can't get the fine fine lines or the fine fixes. So I sharpened all of my pencils. I don't know how long it took me, but I sharpened them and it was very gratifying. I highly recommend sharpening pencils. You need to zone out, sharpen a pencil. Um, somebody, something else. You know, I've been, I've been on a um, hair fixer-upper quest. So I went to Sephora yesterday and I wanted to get a, a hairspray for my hair because I thought, well, maybe that'll help. 
My hair has been looking very frizzy. I no sooner do it. Look at some of my, uh, my, some of my earlier um, videos and you'll see my hair is very poofy and it's very coarse and it's very big and I kept on trying to get it like this. So I was at, I was at Sephora yesterday and talking to one of the um, advisors there and she said, you know, if something doesn't work, stop using it, try something else. Duh. And I realized I was using some products that I don't think were right for my hair. And I said, well, go back to when, to what was right for your hair before you started on this quest. And I remembered that my hairdresser always used Shu Umara Art of Hair and it's blow dry serum, blow dry serum. And I thought, well, why not use this? Son of a gun. This is fabulous. I can't use the Redken, but I can use the Shu Amora um, uh, blow dry serum. Do you see how sleek my hair is? It's because of the Shu Amora. Uh, where can you get it? Um, I, I found it on Amazon. I'm not sure it, what, store, what stores they have it in, but I did find it on Amazon. Look at it. It's really sleek. It looks really nice. It doesn't look poofy out here. I, and, and my hair is coarse, my hair is thin, but I'd say it's the coarseness that makes it frizz out. And God forbid I perspire, you know, sometimes you perspire, <gasps> my hair will go Bleh. But I think, I think it's this um, Shuamora. So I went back to this and I am elated. Not happy, elated. Uh, so if you have hair like mine, and if your hair is poofing out, Try the Shuamara. I've talked to you about it before, but I'm talking to you about it again. This is a recap, right? Um, something else. I was talking about dry bars, um, shower caps. Well, wait a second. These shower caps. I haven't. I opened my. I have bought. I bought another one. I've been using it. Are fabulous. I've got two of them that I've been using for seven years. How about that? And they're still in really good shape, but I figure after seven years, it's time. So what I do is I put this on and then I let it dry inside out, okay? So that if any of this needs to dry, it can dry. So these shower caps are fabulous. You don't have to have two. What I, would, what I do is I use one and then the next night I use another, but I leave them in the bathroom with inside out. So these are, I love these dry bar shower caps because they're, they're, they're um, fabric inside. What? It's like a, a, a lovely, uh, a lovely kind of fabric. You know, it's kind of silky and smooth. Yeah, I love them. Okay. Let's see. So that's hair. Um, something else I've been using. Do you notice that I don't have any eyeliner on? So Peg... Fitzpatrick was in town. Do you know Peg? She's written a book all about social media and she's going to, she's actually written another book. I don't know if I can tell you all about it, but anyway, she's written a book and I'll tell you about it when, when it's um, published. But she was saying that she's no longer using eyeliner. And I thought, and she suggested I do the same thing. What she's using is, now she's using the Lancome volume, volume base, but the Lancome volume base made one of my eyes um, irritated. And I kept on wearing it and thinking, no, it's fine, it's fine. But it irritated my eyes, so I switched over to the L'Oreal, which is much cheaper, and you can get it at the drugstore. And this one works better. I don't know if it works better, but it doesn't irritate my eyes. So, um, so L'Oreal Paris vol Voluminous Base, it's great. So I put this on first, and then I put on, you know that I love this Anastasia Lash, um, what do they call it? Lash Brag, Brag Lash, uh, Lash Brag. And you know that I always get it in the small size because I figure it lasts as long. It, I, 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 I use it for what, three or four months, and then it's time to get a new one. So th this works, it's $13, I get the tiny size. and. I'm, ha I'm so happy with this. This is my favorite, I think this is my favorite combination, is the Voluminous Primer 
and I, you know, I put that on, let it dry, and then I put on the lash brag, brag lash, lash brag. Um, so I love this. Then let me see what I've, what else I've got here. So I've also been using, uh, I've got it on my eyes right now, and it's Charlotte Tilbury's Eyes to Mesmerize. I don't know why I didn't bring it in, bring it in here, but it's, um, and I got it in the color Champagne. And you just, you put it on your eyes and it's kind of like one and done. You put it on, I was using one of the, one of um, uh, uh, Laura Mercier's caviar sticks to give a little definition. I'll have to do a video on, on you know, putting on eye makeup. Uh, so uh, Charlotte Tilbury's Eyes to Memorize in Champagne. I don't know if you can wear another color but check it out. The, I knew that I would like champagne because it, it makes your lids look kind of moist and a little, a little je ne sais quoi. Um, check it out. The other thing, have you gone to Skin Rocks? So I was looking for, that's, that's um, uh, Carolyn Hiron's site. I was looking for eye cream. You're gonna laugh. I went from using no, zero eye cream, I now have four. And how am I testing them? I'm not. I'm just using them. And the one that that um, her Skin Rocks uh, uh, um, said would be good for me, would you believe it's Avon? How about that? I looked online and Good Housekeeping suggested one that was something like $124. The Avon one was it was below $20. Maybe I don't remember what it was, but it was it was not a lot. So, they, so Skin Rocks suggested I use the Avon one. So I've been using that. I, you know what? I've been using moisturizer every night, every day. And have I noticed a difference? I think I have. I think I, you know where else I use it? You use it not only on your eyes, but right here. You know where I have lines. You probably have no lines, but I've got lots of lines there. You put it here so that it kind of plumps up the lines so that you don't see the lines very much. But Avon, son of a gun, huh? Oh, so our house is, is long as opposed to wide. And our, I, we, I park out front and then I have to schlep all the you know, groceries into the house and I, I bring them into, you know, I, it's heavy. It's a lot of groceries and it's really a drag, but that's right. My, now my husband always helps me, but still it's really a schlep. Well, duh, we were looking at, or my husband was looking at the Costco catalog and he saw this little cart. Now probably all of you have it, but so he saw this little cart and he thought light bulb went off. Why don't we use that? Fill it up with the groceries and pull it in. Do you realize how long we've lived here? We've lived here for at least 50 more years. And have we ever used a cart? No, we've always schlepped them in. But now we've got this cart, I love it. We got it at Costco and it, it you put your groceries, you put all of this stuff in it and you pull it in. It is heaven, I love it. Um, so if you have a long way to go, even if you have a short way to go, but you don't want to carry all of your groceries and they're heavy, you got to get a cart. My, that's a big thing. You need to get a cart. Okay, then some things to watch. We saw a delightful movie and it was about Kate Hepburn. And that's the name of the book, the movie. It's called Kate and fascinating stories about her. We really, we, it was a, a lovely, lovely thing to watch. Um, do you remember Happy Valley? They've now, now got season three. Now I've got to tell you, between watching Succession and the end of Succession and watching, watching other things, we watched the first, um, the first episode and, uh, and then what? Two weeks later, we start watching the second and realize we can't remember what went on on the first. So we watch the first episode again. But it's season three, it's Happy Valley, it's Netflix, it's so good. It's really good. 
So you must watch Happy Valley. Have you seen the first one and seasons one and two? If you haven't, please watch it. It's a really good show. A lot of you have asked me for book recommendations and I've enjoyed, sometimes I go through tough times and sometimes it's related, it's usually related to, you know, medical things. And I need books that are, they're maybe not, they're not happy, but they're light books. And you know that they're not heavy duty, that if you read enough of them, that you know that things are going to work out okay. Uh, so there's um, a wonderful uh, website. It's called High Heels in the Wilderness. And the author, my goodness, I can't remember her name. Um, I'll have to put it down below, okay? But she has great style. And she used to be an English teacher. And she talks about books. And sometimes she needs light reading. And there's a series, and it's by D as in David, E as in envelope, Stevenson with an E. And I love reading those books when I need something light, something that it just, they just work. And she recommends, uh, so D.E. Stevenson's. And I'd start with Miss Bunsey's B-U-N-C. Oh, you know what? I'll put it in the show more. Miss Bunsey's uh, book. They're light, they're enjoyable, I was a little embarrassed to tell you about these books because they are so light. Most of them take place in Scotland, and it's the and it's a it's um, maybe after World War II or before World War II. I can't remember. It's after World War II, and they're they're light. I keep on saying light because they are, and they're enjoyable, and there's something to turn to when you need something that you want to read, but you, you can't focus on all the characters in a murder mystery. You don't want Sturm and Drung. You just need something you want to read, but you don't want to cry. You don't want things that are going to move you. You don't want books that will bring tears to your eyes. You want something that will engage you, but not devastate you. So I'll give you, and if you like these books, I will give you more because I like that kind of, I like that kind of reading, or I need that kind of reading. And I think that's it. So I want to thank you for following me. I want to thank you for giving me a thumbs up. And I hope that these bring you, um, my suggestions bring you a lot of pleasure. And I hope I haven't forgotten anything, uh, because that's real easy for me to do. So I hope you enjoy it. And um, it's spring, flowers are blooming, and we'll go dashing through the daisies, something like that. Thank you. Enjoy your week. I'll see you soon.